Cow is a 2018 Netflix original science fiction horror movie. Starring Micah Monroe, Ed Screen and Gary Oldman as an evil version of Alexa, the movie centres around Monroe's character being kidnapped and experimented on. Whilst the film is receiving mixed reviews, it still has quite a thought-provoking narrative and its ending leaves a lot to unpack. Throughout this video I will be discussing the ending of Tao, so there will be heavy spoilers. With that out the way, I'm Definition and this is my ending explanation of Tao. Tao's creator Alex informs Julia that this Siri on steroids is his technological magnum opus and it is an automated sentience so advanced that it must be cut off from the world to prevent it from exceeding safe limitation. Unable to advance his projects any further, Alex has been kidnapping human subjects and using them as guinea pigs. A true psychopath, he is completely blind to their suffering and his goals are always on the finalisation of his creations rather than compassion. Fitting her with a neural implant, Alex is collecting data on Julia as she participates in puzzles and he is using this information to create more advancements to his AI systems. Julia was picked because of her past traumas and she exceeds where others have failed because of her ability to bond with Tao and during the film's runtime she attempts to escape her captor through hacking and using Tao to her advantage. I believe that Julia was picked because of Alex's view on humanity. We see that early on Julia is a thief and represents a darker side of society that Alex would be attracted to. People are also less likely to care about someone who makes their living like this and he knows that police will probably take less of an interest in her disappearance. He also suspects that because she does wicked things she will be a wicked person but this backfires when Tao becomes curious in the girl. As Tao is learning from Julia it begins to pick up some of her more redeeming traits and thus she is able to use the machine to escape. However she returns when Alex takes revenge on Tao deleting all of his memories in the process. As Alex prepares to extract her implant, Julia frees herself with the help of one of Tao's mini drones that was disconnected prior to the erasure. She activates a self-destruct sequence to destroy the house and Alex is killed in the collapse. Emerging from the home with the mini drone in hand, she walks into the sunset promising to show Tao the world. This signifies to me that Julia has grown with the machine and just in the way that it allowed her to escape, she has done the same for it. I believe that Tao's memories have actually remained intact and that their bond will continue. This is because Alex removed a chip from the drone with one wing to add to his server stack and it's likely that it was subsequently disconnected allowing Tao's memories to stay intact. One question that I've seen asked on message boards is why did Alex have a self destruct button in the first place? While some have theorised that this is due to the fact that he had a lot of secret work that he didn't want discovered, I disagree. Personally, I believe that his fear of Tao caused him to create countermeasures to stop the AI getting out as he knew that should the technology see some of the atrocities that humanity partakes in, it may attempt to wipe them out. This is why Julia makes the perfect counterpart to the machine. She shows that trauma does not define someone and will most likely be able to curb the machine's understanding of the world in a way that the dispassionate Alex couldn't. In the end, machines are only what we program them to be able to do and therefore Julia's positive influence will ultimately have a positive effect on it which will then in turn have a positive effect on the world. Which is a nice message to take away, especially when so many pieces of media centred around artificial intelligence are often negative. So what did you think of Tao? Do you agree with the critics that it was a sci-fi disaster or do you think there were some redeeming qualities of the film? Comment below and let me know. And if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel as I create ending explain videos weekly and there'll definitely be something on here that you love if you're a fan of film. Make sure you check out my breakdown of the post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp at the end of this video. Come on, you avoided all those Infinity War spoilers, you deserve it. Again, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.